In this video, we're going to see how to add and remove users or other teachers to your Moodle page. All we want to do is scroll down until we see the settings box and we're going to choose users. Now if we click this down arrow on users, it's going to give us a few more different options. Here we can see enrolled users, we can see how they're going to enroll, groups that we may have set up, and other users. So what I want to do is select enrolled users. Here we can see all the current students who may be enrolled in our class. And if you're just starting a Moodle page, this page is going to be empty. So all you want to do is come up here and click on Enroll Users. This is going to give you a little pop-up box that's going to search the entire database for your school or district and find users to add. So in this case, I have 28,000 different users that I can add to my course. In this search box, you can type either first names or last names and hit enter and it will automatically search the database. However, in some cases students may have the same first name and the same last name and be at completely different schools so you may have to have them set up separately by user ID number. In this case I'm just going to search for a certain instructor to add to my course. Her name starts out with Lisa so I'm going to type Lisa and as you'll see a bunch of different Lisa's show up even instructors as well as students. So there may be too many to go through so I might want to narrow this down a little bit so I don't have to go from page to page. Now her last name starts with a W and even if I don't necessarily know how to spell it correctly I can just type W and it will search all the Lisa W's in our current directory. So there's the Lisa I want to add. I'm going to click enroll and now she is a user in my course. Notice the enroll button disappeared and her name kind of scooted over a little bit. So I could continue to search and type in other names and hit enter and it would automatically populate again. But if I were finished I could just click finish enrolling users. Now I have all of these users in my course and I might want to put them in a certain group and have them separate because if I teach multiple hours throughout the day I might, might want to have one student see something completely different from another. So that's when we can go off into the groups. So in that same settings box over here with our users I can click on groups. Once the groups open up this is a setting that says I already have two groups set up so let's say I want to make another group and for instance that was an English teacher I just added so I want to create a new group and I'm gonna call this just English for any of the English instructors that I might add throughout this course so there we're gonna call this English instructors and then I can give them an enrollment key as well for this course so if that instructor wanted to add themselves we could say this is the English password for this group and I can choose whether I want to hide their pictures or not. So we'll click Save Changes. But just because I created the group doesn't mean they were automatically populated into that group. So as I highlight certain groups, the members of that group will show up on this other side. So in the English group, I want to add or remove users. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go find that instructor that I wanted to add to my English group. So here's her name. I have English instructors selected up here. I'm just going to click add and she populates into this English group I have. So I can go back to groups and see all of the groups I have set. I could delete a group. I could select another group and show the members for that group and see who was already enrolled in that course. Now if another student or instructor wanted to add themselves into my course and I gave them access to do that, they would have to do this back from this home page when we originally logged in to Moodle. They could scroll down to see different courses or different schools in the district. So I'm just going to pick a school and pick an instructor that I'm not a current student in. So when I click their name, it's going to ask me if I would like to enroll in this course. She does not have an enrollment key or a password set up, so if I click enroll, I am going to automatically be enrolled in that course and see her information. Now since I might not be put into a group for her class, not everything might be showing up appropriately like it should. But if you look on the left side under My Courses, her course is now shown under My Courses. Now I am a student in this course. As a student, I can scroll down and I can also unenroll 
or I can check my grades for this particular course. If I were put into a group, other things would populate here and I would be able to do activities as part of this class. So your students can go enroll themselves. The downside to allowing them to enroll themselves is they can also unenroll. As the instructor, if you enroll students into your course, they are not allowed to unenroll themselves. The instructor must then unenroll them from that course.